Phase 12 of exponentials, um, 81 to the x equals 27 to the negative x. We know that the prime number factors of these are 3, so we'll put 3 to the 4th, which is 81 to the x, equals 3 to the 3rd, which is 27, to the negative x. And then we know that this exponent is equal to that exponent, so basically we have 4x equals negative x times 3, which is negative 3x. Um, in this case, we're, we're going to add 3x to both sides, so we're going to get 7x equals 0, x equals 0. That's the only solution to this, okay? All right. Oh, 1 7th to the x equals 49. So 7, 1 7th is actually 7 to the negative 1. 49 is equal to 7 squared, so we can set this exponent equal to that one. Negative 1x equals 2. Divide both sides by negative 1, we get x equals negative 2. Okay? All right, 3a. Solve for x if possible. Um, that sounds kind of ominous. So 4 is 2 squared, 2x plus 1, equals 8 is 2 cubed, 1 minus x. Now I'm going to set this equal to that, multiply them together. So I'm going to have 2 times 2x plus 1, which is 4x plus 2. Set that equal to the right side, which is 3 times 1 minus x, which would be 3 minus 3x. Then I'm going to put like terms together, add 3x to both sides, I'm going to get 7x equals, subtract 2 from both sides, I'm going to get 7x equals 1. So divide both sides by 7, I'm going to have x equals 1 7. Okay, c. 2 to the x times 8 to the 1 minus x equals 1 fourth. So I have 2 to the x, uh, 8 is 2 cubed, so I have 2 cubed to the 1 minus x equals 1 over 4, which is 1 over 2 squared. Now I'm going to start combining some of these exponents here. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 1 minus x, and then I'm going to add it to x. x plus 3 times 1 minus x, because same base, we can add the exponents together, right? And then the right side, I have 1 over 2 squared, which is 2 to the negative 2, right? So the right side exponent is negative 2. I can set that equal to it, okay? So x plus 3 minus 3x equals negative 2. Negative 2x equals, subtract 3 from both sides, minus 5 x equals 5 halves. Okay? All right. Let's go down to a again. 3 times 2 to the x equals 24. Uh, divide both sides by 3. We're going to get 2 to the x equals 8. We already know the answer to this, right? Because 8 is 2 cubed. We know that x equals 3. C. 3 times 2 to the x plus 1 equals 24. I divide both sides by 3. We get 2 to the x plus 1 equals 8. Uh, we know that 8 is 2 cubed. So we can set these exponents equal to each other. x plus 1 equals 3. So x is equal to 2. Right? Okay. E. 4 times 1 third to the x. We can divide both sides by 4. We get 1 third to the x equals 9. We know that 1 third is equal to 3 to the negative 1, and we know 9 is equal to 3 squared, so we're going to rewrite it. 3 to the negative 1 to the x equals 3 squared. So now we can set these exponents equal to each other. Negative 1 times x equals 2. So x equals negative 2. We finished that section, now we're at 5a.
Okay, these are similar to what we did before, except now we're, solve, we're solving uh, the equation because they set it equal to zero. Before, it was just simplify or factor or expand. Now we're actually going to solve for x. So same thing up until, uh, until, up until we get to the point where we actually solve for x, okay? So if we have 2 to the x squared, which is this, minus 6 times 2 to the x plus 8, first thing we want to do is factor. Um, we're going to factor happy face squared minus 6 happy face plus 8. How does this factor? So we're going to have probably happy face plus 4 times happy face plus 2, which is like 2 times 4 is 8. Oh, except it needs to add up to be negative 6. So instead of plus 4 plus 2, it's going to be negative 4 and negative 2. Okay. Now we're going to substitute back in the 2 to the x. So instead of happy face minus 4, we're going to have 2 to the x minus 4, 2 to the x minus 2. That equals equal to 0. So now we're going to say, okay, what, what makes that 0 and what makes that 0? So we're going to have 2 to the x minus 4 equals 0. We're going to figure that out. 2 to the x minus 2 equals 0. And we're going to figure that out. 2 to the x minus 4 equals 0 is 2 to the x equals 4. So x is equal to 2. 2 to the x minus 2 is 2 to the x equals 0 is 2 to the x minus equals 2. So x equals 1. So these are the two solutions. x equals 2 or x equals 1 as the solutions for A. All right, let's go to C. Uh, C, this is obviously, after all that practice, 3 squared to the x is equal to 3 to the x squared, right? So we're going to write 3 to the x squared minus 12 times 3 to the x plus 27 equals 0. And then we're going to replace the 3 to the x with happy face. So happy face squared minus 12 happy face plus 27 equals 0. We're going to factor that. We're going to get happy face plus 9 times happy face plus 3, so that we're going to get 3 times 9 is 27. Uh oh, but they're supposed to add up to be negative 12, not positive 12. So what if we change both to negative? Happy face minus 9 times happy face minus 3. Um, and again, you can do these by putting this into the quadratic formula. Put in a equals 1, b equals negative 12, and c equals 27. Okay. Um, so now we're going to solve that. We're going to substitute back in 3 to the x for happy face. So we have 3 to the x minus 9, 3 to the x minus 3 equal to 0. So we know that either this is 0 or this is 0. 3 to the x minus 9 equals 0, or 3 to the x minus 3 equals 0. Let's solve and see what this is equal to. 3 to the x minus 9 equals 0 is the same as 3 to the x equals 9. So x is equal to 2. 3 to the x minus 3 equals 0 is the same as 3 to the x equals 3, which is x equals 1. So the solution to this one is x is 2 or x is 1. Last one, we're going to do e. So 25 to the x is actually equal to 5 squared to the x or 5x squared. So let's do that. 5x squared minus 23, 5 to the x, minus 50 equals 0. We're going to replace the 5 to the x's with happy face. So happy face squared minus 23 happy face minus 50 equals 0. That factors into happy face minus 25 and happy face plus 2. So now we're going to substitute back in the uh, 5 to the x for the happy faces. So we have 5 to the x minus 25. 5 to the x plus 2 equals 0. Then we're going to uh, take turns. We're going to say 5 to the x minus 25 is equal to 0. And the other possibility is 5 to the x plus 2 equals 0. We're going to solve for 5 to the x. So we're going to have 5 to the x equals 25. That leads to x equals 2. 5 to the x... Um, minus equals minus 2 
we know that there's no x value which can cause 5 to the x to be negative 2, okay? Whatever you put in for x, negative numbers or positive numbers, always give, always give you a positive number, so the only solution is x equals 2 in this case, okay? And then down here it says how we use the calculator uh, to graph exponential functions. So it's kind of like the quadratic um, graphing. You just put in the push the y equals button. You put in uh, 2 um, caret x, and that will be the function. And then if you want to find, um, like, you want to know, like, oh, when does... When does the uh, function 2 to the x equal to 128 or something? Then, so for y1, you put in 2 to the x. And then for y2, you put in like 128. And then you use second uh, calc intersect to find the intersection point, And that'll tell you that x is equal to 7 or whatever. We said that 2 to the 7th is equal to 128, right? Something like that. All right. So that's the calculator method of, of doing kind of what we're doing here.